Lankafan's victory over Mohagin's forces was short-lived. The Army of the Dark had indeed retreated, but it was only a matter of time before they would return. During the battle, Mohagin himself appeared to command his forces at the besieged gates. Several times, a lone Heron guard fought his way to face Mohagin one-on-one. Each time, the swordsman was cut down by the fiend. Many sharp-eyed archers targeted the Dark One from their high perches, sending barrages of arrows into his armored form. Mohagin plucked the arrows from his body as if they were mere annoyances, and continued rallying his troops. This invincibility did not escape Connacht's keen perception. From the topmost battlement, Connacht used a spyglass to observe Mohagin's sinister form. Clutched in the fiend's hand was a small gilded scepter, which contained large gems on either of its ends. Connacht was suddenly overcome with a vision of the past, a history long before his birth, when a race of power incarnate walked the lands. The device held by Moagim was none other than a rod of the Keliach. As Lankerfan worked into the night to repair its defenses and give aid to the wounded, Connacht, Myrdred, and Damas spoke upon the battlements. When Connacht told Myrdred of his finding, the Avatar was stunned. The rod of Kaliach was a legendary device, one that was thought to be mere fantasy. An elaborate ritual of great power was needed to attune the device to the user, but once so focused, the rod's power would render the user immune to all harm. No blade could cut him, no arrow pierce him, no spell affect him. With the rod in Mulligan's possession, he was literally immortal. The rod would have to be destroyed. Damas' scouts reported spotting Morgan's camp five miles to the north of the walls. The Avatar knew of a thing called a World Knot, a magical device that allowed one to move without actually moving. The Knot was located less than a mile from Morgan's encampment, and the odds were that he was unaware of its existence. Another Knot was located inside the Avatar's citadel under the heaviest of magical guard. The plan was a simple one but one from which no one would likely return. Sardanak, one of the oldest Avatara in the Citadel, chose to lead the mission. And with him, a group of the Empire's most elite forces were assembled at the World Knot under the Avatara's Citadel. They knew they would not be returning to Lankerfen, but they carried no remorse. Only honor shone in their eyes as they stepped through the World Knot. A lot of things we have to do right off the bat here. Okay, the dwarves managed to kill that guy. We need them to kill some of these ogre. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, 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 stop, 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 everyone stop. Okay. Now this one ogre there, he's gonna run and escape and try to warn his trout masters that we've teleported in. That's actually not gonna be a problem. Okay, we've got three dwarven heroes, six hero archers. I think that's something we've never seen before. We've got Sardanak. He's an avatar, uh, very similar in combat to a heron guard, but notice he's got six dispersal dreams. That's quite a lot. Now, this mission is apparently supposed to be about stealth. There are... There we go, there are these large groups of... Uh, it's four Solus and like 20 Thrall walking around the map. And we're gonna have to try to avoid them. We're gonna avoid some of them, but there's gonna be some things that we have to fight. Now, when I said this uh, ogre was running away to go warn his trial masters, it uh, turns out it's not gonna be a problem. That's why I let it get away, to show off this. It gets stuck on scenery. We can just bring our archers in and finish it off. Excellent. Already there. That way. Yes. However, I do want to see where this ogre was going. 
It's going to go warn its trout. There must be trout around here, and I need to know where they are. Huh. This is a little foreboding. Okay. A couple solace up on this hill. There's some thrall. This looks like it would be the entrance to Mogum's camp. Oh, they've seen me. Do you hear something? Already there. I think I hear something. Yeah. That's gonna be a problem. There's a trow on that entrance. So let's not go that way. Let's see what's over here. Already there. There's another entrance up to the camp. However, this way... Is that nine ogre, two more trow? We had to run from them. And in the meantime, this group of Solus and Thrall are coming upon us. I'll have to deal with that. As usual, I'll get a fast unit up to distract the Solus, and hopefully my archers can finish them off. As you can see, it's raining. This uh, makes my dwarves nowhere near as useful. I tell them all to stop. I find it better to have them all attack at once. It greatly increases the chance that at least one of the cocktails will get through. Okay, that's good enough. Then you finish off him. Yeah, if you throw all three cocktails at once, at least one of them's probably going to get through. And if that explodes, it'll explode all of them. Everyone's doing okay. Now I need to find out where those trow and ogre went while I was distracted by this. There they are. I like how they stomp over these bodies and it makes them bleed. Well, it looks like they're going across this bridge and off the map out of our way. And I was kind of showing earlier, you can still hear units that you can't actually see. I can still hear that trow stomping away. But they're out of our hair now. We should be doing okay. Okay, I need... Dirt 508. I'll send him over here. I need him to be my insurance policy. I'm gonna be attacking this trow, and in case it goes... things go terribly, terribly wrong, I'm gonna need a, uh... gonna need a Heron Guard still alive somewhere. So I can heal all my units. Okay. Now, since I have Archer Heroes, I actually have superior range to these Solus, even with them up on this hill. If I attack them this way, I attack them one at a time. Meanwhile, all of my guys attack. What are you doing? Okay, I guess I'm within range of that Solus. Eh, I'll be okay. No, I won't. Are you done? You done? Good. For the Emperor. Let's go. Okay, dealing with this trow. Well, you know what? Ah, screw it. I'll leave those souls alive for now. Here's part one of dealing with these trow. I think you can guess what this is gonna 
do. Since these are Dwarven heroes, they have a lot of satchels. And I'm going to use all of them. Okay. What I'm also going to do is use Sardanax Dispersal Dream. Now in the uh, Crypt of Mazarin mission, I didn't remember uh, the two co-op ones where uh, Mirdred had Dispersal Dreams. I didn't really get a chance to, ex uh, to explain them. But as you saw, they're extremely powerful. What it does is you cast it on a unit and it creates a little like explosion, area of effect damage on the unit and everything nearby. And then bounces to the next nearest unit and just continues the chain until there's nothing left for it to hit. What I'm hoping is that I can blow up all of these Thrall and do significant damage to this Trow. However, hmm, I don't like... there's kind of a gap here. It might not hit this Trow at all. There's usually a Thrall somewhere around here, but... Let's go for it. Okay, I did a little bit of damage to the Trow. I want Sardanac way, way far away, away from this battle. Can't have him die. And all my Heron Guard act as bait. Walk, walk over the... shit. Shit, it didn't walk over the... why didn't it walk over the trap? Okay, um... Fuck, I hate this level. I really hate this level. Because it just doesn't go right. Uh, well, if it's chasing this one archer, I, eh. Stand clear. Step off. Normally, just heads for this pack of marchers and rapes all of them. Right away. Casualty. Okay. Didn't go at all as the way I planned, but I'll, I think they'll take that. So some weird trow behavior there. Just wait till you see the fail video. I've got so much problems with that trow. Oh yeah, I can just go this way now. So the way into Mogum's camp should now be clear. What? Oh no, it's not. Still some solace there. Yes. Normally my uh, dispersal dream takes care of these solace, but I don't think that'll be a problem. See, I still have superior range. Okay. Now that, I get, now that I'm up here, I also want to take care of these Solas. You don't really have to, you can just continue on to Mogum's camp. But I have a little something planned for near the end of this mission, and I need these Solas dead too. And I guess it helps with veterancy. No, 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 get back here. Get back here. Okay, this is the group of Thrall that were guarding that other gate. Yes. Come on! Hate the rain! Why give me dwarves and then make it rain? Casualty. So I lost that archer simply because my dwarves felt stupid and didn't want to actually kill anything. Man, that's frustrating. But 
now we can finally move along. Oh, hey, oh, 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 oh. And straight into a... Whoa, two groups of ogre. Ugh. Oh, I hate dwarves. I really hate dwarves. <laughs> I'm kidding, I love dwarves. Uh, don't let Sarknight die. That would be embarrassing. Not like that's happened before. No, 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 no. Don't heal him? <laughs> Man, I'm getting annoyed with myth here. Yes, sir. And you heal him. Let's go. God damn it. Let's go. Now where is that other group of ogre? So they're on patrol this way. I want to sneak in behind them. So that they can't run and escape Already and warn their... Trail masters that I'm here. Because there's even more trow. Yes. We draw closer to Moagim. We must keep quiet. Now, I, I'm sure you've noticed that I haven't been exactly keeping quiet so far. That will come into play very, very soon, though. This one, it looked like it was trying to make a run for it, but there we go. This group of larger ogre, a lot of them will just try to run, so you don't really have to deal with them too much. Or you don't have to worry about uh, getting into melee combat. You have to worry about them getting through. But for now, we'll just continue up the path, up this hill. And I think now is the point where I'm just going to park my dwarves here yes, sir. so that I don't make any noise. Not like they've been doing me any good so far. I'll have to do this all archer in Herengard. Get a little closer for my archers Moving to get to the action. Come on. Sir? Yeah, I used all my yes, flaming arrows. Nailed up. Okay, I'm faster than Thrall, so let's just back up and do this all again. For great justice. Not heal yourself. <laughs> oh. And screw it. Okay. Yes. No 
Now, where is Nemo's body? He probably dropped some things. Of course, you can't see there's because there's too much gore here. Ah. Moving on out. Now, I might have been able to get away with using my dwarves there, but at this point, from, from now on, you absolutely do not want to use dwarves. If you do, there's a good chance that you might anger two trow that you don't otherwise have to deal with. Let's get a... take Disco Spawn. Go up ahead, see what's here. Now, this whole mission, I've been going up this hill, and at this point... I'm very at a very high elevation, so the camera is zoomed like kind of close. Well, the camera is always at the same zoom, but now I'm much closer to it, and I'd still like to be able to zoom out a little more. But there's not really anything I can do about that. Yes, already there. I have a new idea. Let's get all of my melee units. Take out the Solus. Then. Good enough. Go, go. Out of healing? He's out of healing. Yes, sir. Already there. Let's go. And let's see if I can't lead all the thrall to my Heron Guard. Nope, they're going this way. Casualty. Yes, sir. No, nope, he's out. He's out. Casualty. Yes. Casualty. Now, believe me, if I was able to use my dwarves, I wouldn't have anywhere near this level of trouble. No, 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 move to him. You guys finish that guy. But this is attempting to be a stealth mission. No, 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 not him either. Okay. But yeah, the uh, the game wants the wants you to pretend that this is a stealth mission and you're supposed to uh, do things quietly. That's not nearly. It's not as fun as otherwise, and you have to do some tactics you otherwise wouldn't. And hey, this is supposed to be a suicide mission. But I'm going to change things up now. Let's do something a little more fun. I need a uh, guy for a actual suicide mission. Dirt 508. I think he volunteered to be an anything and not just a heron guard. So, this mission is supposed to be a stealth mission. But I have a feeling it was supposed to be a lot harder than it is. Because way off in the corner of a map, there's a very large group of ogre and five, uh, five trial iron warriors just sitting there. They don't ever attack you. Unless, of course, you go do something foolish like provoke them with your heron guard. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. This is part of the uh, random path of these guys. You can see their, the way they've been going. Suddenly, I'm glad I picked up that uh, route on the way here. 
this might actually make this next part even better if these thrall follow me. Here we go. Over here, corner of the map. Giant amount of ogre and thrall. And, well, no, ogre and trow. All these T units. Now, some of them are going straight... Ah, straight for dirt 5 of 8. The rest are heading for the center of mass of my troops. However, they're going... They're not going the winding path that they would actually need to go to reach my troops. They're going this way. More of a direct line to my troops as best they can. Oh, no! Okay, well, he's not going to survive the next hit. But he's doing his job. There's five Trow Iron Warriors here. Oh, boy. And now the canyon's canyon reaches a dead end. Well, casualty. sorry, buddy. But now all of these Trow and Ogre are trying to do their best to get near me. They're now here. My units are right over here. Hmm. hmm. Could use my archers, or I have five dispersal dreams remaining. <laughs> this is going to be sweet. Never before in myth have you been able to use a dispersal dream on a mass of units this huge. Or one that included anything as powerful as Ogre and Five Trow. Oh, man. Enjoy this. This is still the same first dream. Yeah! Kill the Trow! It bounced around so much, it actually killed a trow. And I've got four dreams left! I killed another trout! Well, it took all my dreams. <laughs> but we just killed five trow. Oh, that's good! Yeah! Sometimes with all this explosion, these trees get uh, knocked down, too. Oh, that was good. Dirt 508, I hope you don't mind that I totally just killed you there. Hmm. If there's, is there any more herbs? Yes. I just want to make absolutely sure Sardanac is at full health for this next part. We've now reached the base of Moogim's camp. You can tell by all of the death. Looking around, the path goes this way. Hey, right there. This is the Rod of the Kaliach. Which is what we're going after. It's also fun to say, Kaliach. Get a in your mouth, Kaliach. These are the two trow I was uh, mentioning. If you have some explosions from your doors, these guys go and stand right about here. Very much in the way, very much something you have to deal with. But right now, they're... it's too little too late for them. Disco spawn will draw the trow away, hopefully. I drew one of them away. Sardinac gets close enough. Your life begins anew, Moagam! No! Stop! Casualty. No! Oh, disco spawn. Casualty. And there goes Sardanac. But it doesn't matter. Moagam is mortal. If I had a, a unit alive, you'd see there'd be like five more trow and eighty more ogre attacking me. But it doesn't matter. We've blown up the rod. Sardanek gave his life to destroy the rod, but his sacrifice was not in vain. Moagim, fearing for his mortal life, fled with his troops into the Downs. Six trow! 
six Trow Iron Warriors killed. 72 Ogre and triple digits of Thrall. Sardanek personally killed with 87 units with his dreams and other abilities. Oh, that was good stuff. I know I lost a lot of units, but hey, it's mentioned in the opening intro that this was a suicide mission anyway. Everyone that survived, I'll just say they were captured and escaped eventually. Oh, that was good stuff. Join me next time for the mission that most perfectly encapsulates what Myth 3 is all about. And if you've been paying attention, you're gonna know that's not entirely a compliment.